My first teachers were obviously my parents. Um, and because of them, I tended to do pretty well in school. They offered a lot of support uh, over the years. But it really wasn't until I went to graduate school that I realized just how far you could take your education and how much could be expected of you. Uh, the person who made the biggest impact on me as a student was a teacher who was never actually formally a teacher of mine in graduate school, an emeritus professor named David Tyack. David was a beloved teacher and a historian of education who wrote a number of books, including a very famous one uh, with his co-author Larry Cuban called Tinkering Toward Utopia. And it was a book that actually got me to grad school in the first place. And David and I would have lunch together from time to time because that's what he did, is he took students under his wing, even if he was no longer formally uh, teaching courses as a faculty member there. And I remember sharing with David my first effort to produce a piece of research that I would submit to a scholarly journal. And I was so excited to get his feedback, and we met at his house for lunch, and he just really had so much feedback on how I could improve upon it. And most of my teachers throughout most of my schooling had put comments like, great job on my work. And I thought that that was what I should be striving towards. And so I was really devastated. I remember driving home from having lunch with David and feeling like maybe I didn't belong in graduate school if that was the kind of feedback that I was going to be getting from mentors and instructors. And it took me a while to realize, and I really realized it because of the care that he showed for me and the respect with which he treated me, that he was treating me like an equal, that he was taking me seriously as an intellectual. And he maintained those incredibly high standards for me, but always showed me how to maintain those high standards while also showing somebody deep respect and care and a kind of form of love that really should be a part of everything that we do in education, right? Because we're doing it for each other. And he's the one I learned it from.